Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Shahid-136, an Iranian loitering munition colloquially known as a suicide drone, has garnered significant attention for its devastating capabilities. Developed by Shahid Aviation Industries and produced by Hiza, this drone earned its name from the Persian word Shahid, meaning witness. While officially in service with Iran since 2021, its impact was felt far beyond Iranian borders. In 2019, the world witnessed its destructive potential when the Shahid-136 was deployed from Iran to target a Saudi oil plant. This event marked the beginning of its notoriety as a formidable weapon in modern warfare. However, its most significant international impact came in 2022 when a substantial number of these drones found their way to Russia, rebranded as the Garin-2. Russia's acquisition of the Shahid-136 quickly escalated its involvement in conflicts, notably in Ukraine. Primarily designed to engage stationary ground targets with known coordinates, the Shahid-136 operates by striking preset locations, making it less effective against moving targets. Its delta wing shape, reminiscent of the Shahid-131 but with distinct wingtip stabilizers, houses a Mato MD-550 piston engine, capable of propelling the drone at speeds reaching approximately 185 km per hour. While its exact range remains undisclosed, estimates vary between 1,000 km to 2,500 km, with a flight ceiling of up to 4 km. The Shahid-130 SIXS arsenal includes a high-explosive fragmentation warhead, weighing between 36 to 50 kg, surpassing the destructive power of a 155 mm artillery shell. Launched from a rack that can hold up to five drones, mounted on trucks disguised as standard logistical vehicles, the Shahid-136 employs a rocket-assisted takeoff, launching nearly horizontally. Despite its origins in Iran, examinations of downed drones in Ukraine revealed a surprising amalgamation of Western and Chinese components within its construction. Notably, it incorporates a computer processor believed to be sourced from Altera Corporation in the USA, showcasing Iran's ability to circumvent sanctions and acquire crucial components. Additionally, its airframe structure, composed of radar-absorbing materials such as carbon and honeycomb, enhances stealth capabilities by reducing radar cross-section. Operating without remote control, the Shahid-136 relies on a simple inertial navigation system and consumer-grade GPS to execute its missions. Resilient to anti-drone rifles and electronic warfare systems, this drone poses a significant challenge to conventional defenses. Its impact was starkly evident in the 2019 attack on a Saudi oil plant, attributed to Iran by UN investigators, highlighting the vulnerabilities of traditional air defenses against such drones. However, despite its formidable reputation, the Shahid-130 SIXS effectiveness against military targets is limited by its size, speed, and distinctive noise, earning it the moniker, Flying Mopeds, among Ukrainian forces. Yet, its affordability, with estimates ranging from $20,000 to $50,000 per unit, presents a cost-effective option for inflicting damage on civilian infrastructure. Moreover, the cost imbalance between defending against these drones and their relatively low price makes them an attractive tool for attackers. The Russian variant, Garin-2, equipped with a built-in GLONASS satellite navigation system, further underscores the global impact of the Shahid-136. Widely deployed against civilian targets in Ukraine, these drones posed a significant challenge to Ukrainian air defenses, intercepting 85% of them, yet still managing to inflict damage. In conclusion, the Shahid-136 represents a paradigm shift in modern warfare, leveraging advanced technology to bypass conventional defenses and wreak havoc on adversaries. As conflicts evolve, the proliferation of such drones underscores the urgent need for innovative defense strategies to counter this emerging threat. That's all for now. See you later.